Hello people, let us look at organ of corti in this video. Basically, organ of corti, uh, where exactly you will see it in the ear. If you know, this is the ear. In the inner ear, so this part, in the inner ear, you have the cochlea, the spiral thing, right? So you have the cochlea. This cochlea, when you see the cross section, look at this cochlea, right? They have cut it open. You can see how it is inside. You have the scala vestibuli, scala media and scala tympani, right? So three layers here, scala vestibuli, scala media, scala tympani. Look at this one here. So the cochlea, the same thing you are able to see here. So here they have marked what and all? Scala vestibuli, right? Scala vestibuli marked here. Then the scala media, then you have the scala tympani marked here. Okay. So here what you can see is the bacillar membrane. On top of it, you can see the organ of corti. So organ of corti is a receptor organ, right, for hearing, it is sitting on the basilla membrane. So cochlea, um, the organ of corti is what? Organ of corti is the, it is the sense organ of hearing. It is situated on the basilla membrane. Okay, what are the components of organ of corti? Let's look at that here. So this itself, same thing, which is uh, shown more in detail here. So the components of organ of corti, you have the tunnel of corti, right? You have the tunnel of corti, not shown here, wait. So look at this, you have the tunnel of corti marked here, right? So the tunnel of corti will have some rods and it has something called as corti lymph, okay? So there are inner and outer rods in this exact function, they don't know of this tunnel of corti. However, the other components let us look at. So you have the outer hair cells and the inner hair cells. So this is the second component. First component was tunnel of corti, second is the hair cells. In hair cells, you have the outer hair cells and the inner hair cells. You can understand that let us say this is the ear, right? So if this is the ear, you are coming from outside to inside. So outer hair cells, inner hair cells you have. The outer hair cells, actually you can see these uh, outer hair cells, they are arranged as 3 to 4 rows, okay? However, the inner hair cell you can see only single row. You can see here inner hair cell only single row, okay? Just focus here and see. Inner hair cell only single row, outer hair cells 3 to four rows okay so these are important receptor cells the hair cells are the important uh, receptor cells so now when the sound energy comes these hair cells convert them into the electrical energy which is sent to the nerves now <coughs> the inner hair cells you can see they are supplied by the afferent cochlear fibers a lot of afferent cochlear fibers are supplying the inner hair cells okay they are they are more important, okay, they are more important in the transmission of auditory impulses. The outer hair cells, they just receive efferent innervation, okay, from the olivary complex. They are concerned more with modulating the function of the inner hair cells, okay. So, inner hair cells are very important for the transmission of auditory impulses. So, guys, in organ of corti, what and all we saw till now, we saw the Tunnel of corti, we have seen the hair cells. Now let us look at the supporting cells. Then we have to look at the tectorial membrane. So what are these supporting cells? So in this diagram, where can you see? You can see the outer hair cells, inner hair cells. Uh, here somewhere the tunnel of corti you should be able to see. Then we are talking about the supporting cells. Supporting cells in, will be in between these outer hair cells. We will come to them. Supporting cells and here tectorial membrane. Four parts, okay. So let's go back here. And look at the supporting cells. The supporting cells are nothing but the diter cells and the cells of Henson. Diter cells are actually between the outer hair cells. You can see here outer hair cells. Between them you have the diter cells. Okay. So diter cells which are between the outer hair cells. And above these diter cells you have the cells of Henson. Okay. So uh, the cells of Henson are actually they lie outside of the diter cells. Okay. So cells of Henson diter cell which are between the hair, outer hair cells okay so these are the supporting cells so we are done with the supporting cells now look at the fourth component here tectorial membrane this one tectorial membrane basically it consists of gelatinous matrix with delicate fibers what does it have gelatinous matrix with delicate fibers it overlies the organ of corti so they are saying it overlies the organ of corti okay and um, basically the shearing force between the hair cells and the tectorial membrane. So it is the shearing force which is between the tectorial membrane and the hair cells. Okay. 
The shearing force between the hair cells and the tectorial membrane is the one that produces the stimulus to hair cells. Okay, so for the stimulus for the hair cells, the stimulus will be this shearing force between the hair cells and the tectorial membrane. Okay, so did you understand organ of corti? So basically, it is the one that helps in the hearing, correct? So basically, it is a receptor organ. It generates nerve impulses in response to the vibration of the basilar membrane. So you know here there is basilar membrane. To the vibration of the basilar membrane, in response to that, the organ of corti generates the nerve impulses. Okay. So the receptors are the hair cells. So the receptor organ is organ of corti. The receptors are the hair cells. There are two types of hair cells: outer hair cells and inner hair cells. The outer hair cells are arranged in three to four rows. There are about twelve thousand cells. Inner they form single row. You have seen there is actually less of inner cells. There are around three thousand five hundred cells. Okay. And it has lot of afferent nerve. Uh, we have already told you that. Now the processes of hair cell. pierces a tough membrane called the reticular lamina where is this so the processes of the hair cell pierce the reticular lamina and what else they are telling here the hair cells are covered by this elastic membrane tectorial membrane gelatinous etc we saw that right tectorial membrane so look at the outer and inner hair cells differences outer hair cells you saw many of them will be there inner cells fewer number outer hair cells 3 to 4 rows inner hair cells single row outer hair cells are cylindrical inner hair cells are flask shaped did you observe that it's not very clear in this diagram let us look at this diagram wait look at this one so outer hair cells are cylindrical inner is flask shaped okay then where are we we are looking at the differences right okay then uh, inner hair cells we told you afferent fibers a lot of them will be there then uh, inner hair cells are early to develop okay they are early to develop and uh, they transmit auditory stimuli so main thing main uh, for important here is the inner hair cell right inner hair cell is going to be the it is going to transmit right it's going to transmit the auditory impulses and inner hair cells are more strong they are more resistant to ototoxic drugs uh, high intensity noise etc but the outer hair cells are very delicate they are pro vulnerable to these ototoxic drugs and high intensity noise so this was about organ of corti so mechanism of hearing the physiology that we will continue in the next video okay so organ of corti you have understood